Hi everybody, welcome again to Geek Tech Industries, here recording at the Mustache Open at Warriors Weekend, April 7th and 8th and 19, or sorry, eight, <laughs> April 7th and 8th, 2018. We are here at table one for round three with uh, Brendan Ray on the left side of the board and uh, James Neal fighting his way back to table one here on the right side of the board. Uh, so, uh, Brendan rocking Quick Draw, the Inquisitor, and Colonel Vessery. You can see the lists there. And James, of course, still rocking that Corin and Miranda old school for the win. One minute to time. What's up? Cool. Cool. Six more seconds. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to start the timer. Good luck, everyone. All right, timer is started. These gentlemen are placing their ships. We're not started? So they're just getting themselves finished placing here. Looks like Corrin is uh, starting facing away. He's got his Miranda. Ooh, that's tighter than I would like, but we'll see where he's going with that. Well, he's been very successful flying his Corrin and Miranda so far. I'm he quite sure really he has. knows how he's deploying his ships. Oh, no, his Corrin was just off angle. Oh, he's, there we go. He just hadn't now. deployed him yet. There, there we go. go. Yeah. This should be a good match. Both these guys are top shelf players here. James has been flying Corin for uh, a number of years now, so he's got a lot of experience there. He doesn't have a lot of experience with Miranda, um, but you couldn't, you wouldn't be able to you tell. You wouldn't tell today. All right, so we, we have a 96-point list with James. Brendan is 100 points, and so James definitely has uh, um, the option for initiative. Uh, which one of you guys took initiative? He has initiative. All right, so James has given Brendan initiative here. <laughs> now, it looks like we got two PS8s. Yeah, four PS8s and then a PS9. So his Inquisitor and Vesperi will be moving first. Uh, Corin and Miranda will follow up, and then Quick Draw will move in there with PS9. Uh, and that, for some reason, it's showing as adaptability down, but it should be adaptability up. So I'm just going to quickly fix the uh, pilot skill list here. Yeah, 
And I don't know why it's still showing adaptability down, but uh, we do know that that is uh, pushing it up. To, it shows adaptability minus one. I had to push it up myself. I'm not sure what's going on there, but we do know that Quick Draw is PS10. Not that it matters because it's eights and tens for everybody. Unfortunately, adaptability itself doesn't. It's fine. We know what it does. Oh, there we go. Got Vessery pushing himself out there. For those of you that don't know, my name is Stickus or Glenn, and uh, I'll be doing commentary today. And uh, I've been TOing the event. So, all right. So it looks like with it's going to be a little bit of jockeying for position in these first couple rounds here. <coughs> He's busting out his Miranda with a forward three. Rolling on up in there. No bomb drop. Doesn't make sense to drop bomb so early anyway. Gonna focus up. Corin doing a bank three. Getting in. Corin wants to joust really hard usually. And he's just gonna take his evade. And quick draw, hard turn two. It looks Looks to me like Brendan might be trying to get the focus of his shots on Miranda, which to me is the is the right thing to do. Um, if you don't get Miranda dead soon, um, she comes back in the late game to haunt you and just makes a mess of everything you try to do. Just so fragile. Oh, uh, one of them snapped off. That's okay. My my camming has no front cannons anymore. They've fallen right off. There you go. Put it in the box. It's like my B wings have no cannons left either. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a good mod. All right, Vessery busting out with a two bank. Moving himself up there. And he's got some pretty nice looking ships here. He's got Vessery, Quick Draw, and uh, uh, the Inquisitor all done up in First Order um, Special Forces high co uh, colors. So uh, the black with the white on the uh, solar panels and then uh, a nice red uh, stripe right across the middle of the eyeball. Or across the side of the eyeball, sorry. What's that? Uh, he's barrel rolling out. Trying to get away from that rock. Pulling himself back just a little bit. He doesn't want to joust yet. Yep. So there we 
go. He's going to measure for a target lock. Oh, just outside that range he needs. We got a little bit of weird lighting here, so there's going to be the occasional shadow on the uh, on the dice cam on the dice box. So. Oh yeah, now if it now, now, you, now you can't. Can yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad they can't. I'm glad people can't track the beanie off the board either anymore. Oh, looks like no shots, so they sweep and set. So quick draw, of course, with uh, the advanced optics. So uh, quick draw, she holds that focus token for next round. Dials are down. Oh, mostly, mostly. James just uh, figuring out what to do with Corin, where to send him. Okay, looks like he's bringing up the Inquisitor and Vessary, trying to get some joust action going on here. He's figuring out his actions with the Inquisitor. I mean, really, he doesn't have a lot of choices. Inky's, Inky is down to a uh, what he does, and that what he does good is take target locks and get a vase. Oh, and he's pushing the limit for... A focus. There we go. So there he's all focused up. Got his full on. And James doing what he should, which is getting away with Miranda. Uh -huh. And Corin rolling up. Just trying to figure out what to do about Inky and Inquisitor there. He's concerned about possibly flying through a rock next turn. And I don't blame him, but on the same token, yeah, if it was me, I would roll back, honestly. Uh, he thinks he wants range one. I would barrel roll back and try to get behind that debris. Uh, it looks like he might have arc dodged the Inquisitor there. And uh, probably not going to be a range one on uh, Vessary, but it is definitely going to be a good shot. So uh, it looks like he is going to push for a focus this time. Okay. And quick draw decides, well, screw that corn horn guy. I'm going to push up. That's fine. I've, I've already let our viewers know that there's some weird lighting going on. Lean where you need to learn, lean, sir. I know you guys 
guys can't see it, but he's just coming over a bit there. Actually, what he might do. There we go, that might clear it up a little bit. Late is played, my friend. No, no, I mean, but I'm still still in the barrel. Yeah, I, can I adjust where the barrel I think you're locked in once you move. I think once you picked it up, you're kind of locked in. You can adjust along the uh, along the side there when you place it. But yeah. All right. So it uh, looks like we're getting into some shots here, getting into combat. Got a range three on Cornhorn from Quick Draw. Gonna use that fire control system, pull up some target locks early here. So let's gather those dice. We got one focus, a big fat nothing. Unless he wants to spend that focus, it sounds like sounds like he wants to keep that. So he's just gonna pull up that target lock with fire control. Uh, and then uh, James's eights are gonna shoot. Oh no, that's right. He gave uh, the other guy initially. I forgot. He gave uh, Brennan initially. So there's Vessery with, uh, wow, four dice, three focuses, and a hit. So he's going to spend that focus for four hits. And a, or three hits and a crit. Oof. Corn takes three. That is Corn's shield stripped. I'm going to say Corn is going into Vessery now. So focus that up with three hits. Okay, so three hits against Vessery. Vessery's like, sure, buddy, I'll take that. And uh, spends the evade and takes two. That's fine. I'm calling it as it goes, too. So. Do you want the rest of my Frosty? Oof. Look at that. So that was the double tap? That was the double tap. Ouch. Oh, boy. So Vessery takes four, and the Corrin double tap brings it home. And now he's super dead. What was the crit? Oh, direct hit even. <laughs> Not just dead, very dead. Wow. That... Could have been a much better opening opening joust for uh, for Brendan there. Right. There you go. Okay. Well, that is round, and damn, the power of Corin Horn compels you. Corrin is still good. He's still got his two hull. Um, it's highly likely that he is going to regen next turn. Uh, we'll see where that Inquisitor ends up. Uh, quick draw, I have a feeling, wants revenge something fierce. Yeah, you were facing straight. Yeah. Quite the opening round there. I was not expecting Vessery to go up in a heap like that. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So 
these gentlemen thinking hard. Uh, Brendan really has his work cut out for him now. Um, he really needs to push in on uh, uh, Corrin Horn and take advantage of the fact that Corrin has lost his shields and is down to a single, or sorry, down to his two hull. Um, I mean, admittedly, that's what Corrin does, though, is strip sh strips his shields down and then runs away in regens. So he needs to push hard and keep that regen going. No. Oh, Corin. Corin. It's all good. Yeah. Brendan has to chase Corin. If he lets Corin go, Corin's going to regen and come back and make him suffer. All right, so there's Inky closing up. Trying to get that nice shot. Or cause a bump, maybe. Just keep Corin from getting that nice shot. thinking really hard right now about what he needs to do. So he barrel rolls back out. I did not expect that. He's gonna push for a... He's not even gonna push. Okay, so he's playing, playing it cool, playing it cool. Miranda dropping a bomb because they're free. Everybody loves a free omelet. Just check. Corrin doing a straight five. He is risking it for the biscuit. Pushing that. Doing a corner to corner to keep from having to template too badly there. That looks like a great maneuver. He's going to roll through the rock and no damage off the rock. Good job, Corrin. That was the right risk to take. Well, we'll see. I mean, you just still get to go. I don't think Quick Draw is moving the right direction here. We got Quick Draw doing a. Bank one might be able to barrel roll over and get a shot, but I think Corin might have done what he needed to do here. Oh, Nelly. Nope, no, not able to do the barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, barrel roll closer to the to the bomb. That's it. Yeah. Ooh, he's got a he's in a tough spot right now. James really has him up. All right. So then, uh, yeah, Miranda, no shot, right? Yeah, it's definitely outside range three. Okay, so no shot, no shooting this round. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, he does. Mm -hmm. Both the ships are only 48 points, which gives him a significant uh, point advantage should somebody sink one of his ships. Well, it means that if either one of his ships dies, the other one is technically worth 52 points. So it gives him a little bit of an edge on margin that way as well. So he's he's definitely flying smart. He's definitely flying smart. So there's the Inquisitor closing up. Going to attempt a target lock and not able to take a target lock on Miranda. So he's going to instead target lock Corin, which gives him a free evade. And he's already had the target lock on Corin, so he just uh, reacquired that one. And then, uh, Miranda's doing a bank three towards him. 
if he can pick up his uh, template there. James is flying very, very well today. He should be very proud of how he's doing. And there he's focusing up. He knows what's going down. All right, and then uh, Corin doing a bank two, which clears the stress. And then fire. Uh, the weapon's disabled. There we go. Adaptability. Oh, All right, there's Corin push with the push for the evade. Still rocking a pair of target locks on him. And oh, there we go, there we go. It's Miranda's turn to take some damage now. So Corin is now regen back to uh, one shield. Yep. So add a shield to Corin. There we go. I'll keep you in face, don't worry. <laughs> All right, taking the target lock of Miranda. An obstructed range two from quick draw to Miranda. So here we go, dice cam coming up. Oh, hit crit focus. Yeah, he's still fresh, so he's gonna re-roll with the target lock into another focus. He's gonna spend that focus for hit, hit, crit. And Miranda busts out one of aid, so she takes two damage. Yeah, Inquisitor's always, no, is that, that is an obstructed shot? Unobstructed? Yep, just outside the rock there. Spent. Ooh, he's got the wrong lock. So just one hit. And Miranda's like, whatever. I'll take nothing. It's fine. No, no, she didn't gain any. She didn't lose any. Okay, so Miranda now TLTing into the Inquisitor from the look of it. So first of all, he says uh, one hit so far. He's going to spend that focus to make it two. And uh, Inky says, uh, how about Natty's? <laughs> and then she's going to reduce one and two hits. Gain the shield on Miranda. Oh, no, Inky didn't take anything. Did Inky take anything? No. Inky's at two stack. Okay, and Miranda is regened. Corin has regened. Looks like this is going to be a bit of a tough matchup here for Brendan. He's going to have to push really hard to keep this going. I mean, he's still got uh, Quick Draw at fresh. Um, Inquisitor is still fresh. I mean, both of these guys could really do some serious damage, but he needs to focus hard on one of them to bring them down. Old school Zuckus party boss. <laughs> party 25 boss. stress tokens. I think I saw like party bus, party bus. Somebody had like 20 tokens from like. Oh, the Moldy Crow title? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just use a green skin down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Maybe not because Mary versus Uh, it's pretty tight. That was that is millimeters. You couldn't even fit a token between those two, that ship and that rock. So, Inquisitor. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he was attempting to target lock Corin for that free evade. Is not going to be able to target lock Corin. So he's going to barrel roll back. Right, 
and Miranda doing that Miranda thing and closing on up there. Jeez, it's funny. He's been rocking this harpoon all day. I don't think he has actually pulled any target locks to shoot even. So he's, oh, he's just dropping that bomb just because he can. Not that quick draw is going to get over there, but you just never know. He might K-turn over the rock. He might talon roll. Still waiting on Miranda's action here. Oh, and there it is. Target lock pulled up on Inky. And Corin doing his bank two shenanigan. Clearing that stress. He still got that target lock uh, earlier on from uh, the Inquisitor. Uh, Quizzy there really wants to get that shot in. I don't think he's going to let him. Regen one more on Corin. Right, Corin is doing some serious work this game. Like, can't believe he single-handedly took down Colonel Vessery. That was absolutely beautiful. So he's not going to push. He's just going to take the evade. He's keeping himself clear for next turn. So Corin is just about regen back to full. He's got one more maneuver, uh, green maneuver left to get back to full, and uh, it looks like. Looks like Quick Draw is turning around to face tank him, which I think is kind of the right thing to do here. And so he focuses up on uh, Quick Draw. Uh, we're getting into end of activation. Bomb explodes, nobody's close enough. So Inquisitor appears to have, or sorry, not Inquisitor, sorry. Ooh. He can do both. Uh, yeah, the special forces lets him shoot normal two dice up the front. Yeah, two and two. Yeah. I think I know that by now. I haven't played the last two Alright, so he's pushing on Corin. Three dice up the front gives him Natty's hit crit crit. Corrin's like, whatever, bro. Natty's back. Triple evades, and Corrin shrugs it off like nothing. Oh, is not in range. Oh wow, Corrin managed to keep outside. Good job, Corrin again. So Miranda, range one primary, three dice from her primary turret. All right, he's going for Quizzy from the look of it. Three dice. Drops a hit. There are two hits and a focus. And so he's going to spend that target lock. Here it comes for another focus. So two hits against the Quizzy. Who, there we go, spends the focus for two evades. Good. I'm I'm rooting for him just because he's running old school right now. So yeah, running K wings and E wing. Yep, he's got that harpoon, but he, he hasn't even needed it any game this uh, today at all. Oh, you fired it last game. There you go. Hit the shuttle and blew up and just once. Nice. Haha, <laughs> nice. Get ninky with it. Yeah. <laughs> New big hit. I ain't so good at the singing though, so. I'm fine. I'm good enough. I can do it. Don't worry. I 
could be the same. So Inquisitor really, really pushing up on Corrin here. He's thinking really hard about where to put him because he doesn't want Corrin to face tank him at all. Corrin could just shrug off most of the damage that Inquisitor can deal him, and it could hurt him back really, really hard. Appears to be our first table is finished. Oh, what do we got? Really, already? All right, so we already got our first table reporting in. All right, so he's got the. Uh, so he took the target lock, and it looks like push to a boost. I think I see what he's doing here. He's trying to box in Corin to keep him from getting away. Now Corin though <laughs> did not stress himself next turn, so his dial is wide open. Miranda pulling up a target lock on Inky. What? What? Yep, that's what I thought. Corin is GTFO and is trying to peel out there to get away from Inquisitor. He did a good job trying to get Inquisitor in to block. Unfortunately, without that, um, without that stress on Corin to force him into a green act, uh, a green maneuver, uh, he's got a pretty great dial and isn't going to have too many problems getting away. Now, to me, the biggest question is, where is Quick Draw? And where is Quick Draw going? And how is Corrin going to deal with that? There we go. Corrin deciding to that he's just going to be brave and take an evade. Not even going to push the limit. Oh, man. Looks like that might be a bump. That is some beautiful flying. That, that could have gone a lot better or a lot worse. If I'm correct, Corrin's probably going to die. I think I'm going to be correct. So you're just measuring to see whether he's got... Oh, I know, it's hard to tell sometimes, isn't it? All right, so it looks like...
line there. So no, sir. No shot. No shot. That is close, but no signal. Backup plan. Twin laser turret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Miranda tossing some dice. Uh, we got. I'll spend the target lock. I'm going to spend that target lock on the two and bust that into two hits. And uh, Inky says, Not today, bitches. Second shot. Second volley, here we go. So he's actually regenning one on Miranda, getting her back to five. And uh, Inky's all focus. Back up to maximum. Shield levels are at maximum. So that, was that a no damage? No damage, no, no damage that round. Uh, looks like nobody else has shots. Nobody has shots. <laughs> so James has managed to regen Miranda back to full. What? Uh, Yeah, e either one is a bad thing to face in endgame, so yeah, it's it's a it's a hard call. On reveal. When you slam, you're not revealing. Uh, you used to be able to advance slam and into a corner net, for example, and like slam up and then drop a corner net on somebody. But you can't. You can no longer uh, advance slam. Is now actions on your action bar. Don't mess with the. with it. <laughs> Two for who? Uh, your hundred. How are you guys? Oh, there you are. One hundred. So we got another match done. One hundred to zero for Graham versus Clayton. Took a lot. Uh oh, what's going on here? I know, my overlay. It's weird. Hold on. Hey. Well, you've been playing him a long time, haven't you? Mm -hmm. A lot. Yeah. So it's always like Corn and Tremba. Yeah, yeah, Corn Dash. Well, the first time I flown Tremba. I was building this list and I'm like, who am I going to fly with Corin? And I'm like, try Miranda. And then I was like, putting her together and I'm like, thank God she's cheap. Oh, it's it's like, for what you get? It's ridiculous. Like, wow. Because I threw the TLT and the bomblet on there right away. And then yeah. I'm like, it's only 30 whatever. Like, I still got tons of right. points. I'm right. Yeah, whenever you guys are. Sorry, I mean, distraction. Has the beam done here with you? First game, I totally forgot to use it. Oh, no. And I, I hit with at least three bombs. And oh, shoot. Free, free damage. I mean, Come back to the other side. Oh, what? Yeah, it was 100 to 0 for Scott. It's your son's son? Yeah, this is Alex. Cool. Hey, buddy. I like your hat for a sec. Mm. He's at it for a couple years now. He takes good care of that thing. Yeah, I was going to say, for white, that thing's in pretty good shape. I know, right? Oh, and there's Miranda doing that Miranda thing and just getting the hell out again. How many viewers do you have? Hmm? How many viewers do you have? Oh, it's not live. We don't have internet here. Oh. Well, so you're just recording. I'm doing it off. I'm doing that off hotspots. So I'm just oh, recording. Okay, cool. Yeah, because this is a uh, it's a military facility. I was basically told, yeah, if you go near our, our internet jacks, we'll shoot you. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. yeah Army. <laughs> Army. Yeah. yeah. I've only. Could be some crazy hackers. I usually <laughs> say once. I've only 
I've only watched this thing once. Really? I think pretty care that one. First round of combat, melted Bessery. Wait, was that first round? Yeah. Wow. That double tap. Turn two. First round of combat. It was turn four. two. I need to turn two, but yeah, the first first round of shooting. There's a reason Nathan Ivy says he's like the best crew for pilots. He, if you screw up, he's dead. Yeah. So you just, you can't make mistakes with him as all. He's an unforgiving pilot. And dice are starting. What do we got there? We have a uh, hit, a uh, focus, and a blank. He's going to spend that focus up for two hits. Uh -huh. This is into Miranda, who's like, oh no, I take two hits. Big deal. <laughs> You've already recorded the. Uh... Oh, and Corin is regen back to full shields. Yeah, I recorded their. Shield. Yeah. Yeah. That's I got theirs. I got theirs. You're not there, sorry. There's. Yeah. And it looks like my old man's gonna sweep that table. Ah, oh, poor Michael. <laughs> he's, having, he's having a time learning. You know, coming to a tournament is not the best time to learn how to fly in yeah, ship, let alone two of them. But learning he's trying. Robots are not the most forgiving. Uh, they can be great, but you need the practice in before you take them to tourney. So that's all right. That's fine. He's getting the practice now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Twenty-four hundred. Yeah, yeah, he's flying Dash Miranda. Hey, Dash! I love Dash. Dash is great. He's if one of my favorite had pilots. Seen my list, then they'd know what I mean. Yep. My list is usually just Blount, yep. Aaron, Dash. Yep. So uh, the other the other voice you guys are hearing is uh, my son Shadow, hey. doing uh, a bit of commentary and running some uh, some of the uh, overlay for me here. There we go. Ooh, he's got, he's chasing Miranda and Dash. That is not always a good place to be. So Miranda's dropping a bomb, doing that Miranda thing. James has been doing a fantastic job keeping Corin um, out of the fight for the last couple of rounds there. There should be a card that like, is really like expensive, but it regains hull over time. That would be neat, like some sort of regenerating hull ship. Like repair system or something. Some droid. Like a rep repair droid or something. Maybe like an astromech or something? Well, there already is an astromech that you can uh, discard it to get rid of one of your ship um, crits. Yeah, so. but this would be like an astromech that can go in more or less anything. And it just goes out and repairs. Maybe it could be a crew. Maybe. Sort of like, sort of like how right. there's an R2 crew. Turning back around with, with Corrin and deciding, yeah, yeah, I'm at full health. I'm going to face tank that Inquisitor. And there we go, the boost and the push the limit for the evade. Okay. Quick draw. Coming up on that bomb. I don't know whether he's just going to take it and go for the free shot on Miranda or whether he's going to try and roll out. And he's going to roll out. Oh, it's only two of his shields. It's fine. One free Sabine and then two red Oh, Sabine, that's right. <laughs> Which he forgot the whole first game that we actually played, so didn't even really need to use it in the end, though, so it turned out okay for him. 
So he's got a range three. Touching yours. Yep. So that is a range three. Uh, I think it might be actually. Yeah. Now it is an unobstructed range three shot on Miranda coming up from quick draw. So two focuses, and you see the spin that target lock for nice. And Miranda takes one, uh, takes two. Miranda don't care. Long hair, don't care. Doesn't Miranda have long hair though? Yeah. So Inky always range one. And spend that target lock to re-roll the focus into another focus. No, I think this hit the, that, that's, that's why you should take your dice out of the That's box why I always take them out. Them. Go ahead. It was a hit. It was a hit. That's a, that's a hit. It was a hit. Was it? You had a hit. So. Yeah, you had a hit in the crit and the focus, right? Oh, and this was the other dice. And that one got bumped. Yeah, it is. You re-rolled. This was a hit. And you bumped this to the focus. And that was a hit. Okay, that's right fine. Now, then. as it stands, I think you're like good. There we go. There we go. Yeah. 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 If, if, if you're willing to accept it, that. That's what I saw following the, ball, saw the old ball and cup game. That's what I saw. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you got two and a crit. I'm going to roll my three. You got one. Boom, boom, boom. Down, one shield down on Corin. Corin is leaving the shield. There we go. And then Corin's taking his shot back at Inquisitor. One hit, two focuses. And then fire control system pulls him up that target lock. Did you not? Did you not get your fire control system target lock? No, he's not double tapping this turn. Mike? Michael versus Richard. 155. Don't worry about that. And then 55, and it will give you the win loss result when you hit it. Good stuff. And another round in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Finished up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, click over. Scroll up a bit. There you go. Andrew, how much? Okay. And my opponent is Jesse. Jesse, 31. 31. So he got your ace, did he? No, no, 31 is half a rack. Oh, half of rack. God, that's an expensive rack, eh? Yeah. Well, grats. Grats. Yeah. So we're kind of, uh, coming up on 20 minutes left here. 23 three currently. Only three games still going. Good stuff. These games are finishing off fast. We got one round left today, and that will give us the cut for tomorrow. And then once this is released, you will all be curious about who's going to win. Sit back. Yeah, we got you. That was Richard. Mm. Uh, Jess. That was Jesse DeVito. That uh, was uh, no, that's Richard. Jesse's that gentleman there. All right, so Inquisitor doing a hard turn one, clearing that stress and getting himself turned around. Well, at least he's not doing it so hard that he falls. That he falls. Like his spaceship I'm crashes not, and burns. Yeah, I'm not sure that that was the right thing to do. I got a feeling he's going to have Corrin straight up his pipe. He might have, he might have arc dodged here. Just barely evading that. That's just barely. A hard turn two might, get it, might end up with him in arc. But uh, at this point, he's probably doing a bank to clear that stress. Yeah, probably. 
if it's green, he's probably going to do it. Some sort of green maneuver. Well, we'll there. find out in a minute here. The Inquisitor's still got some actions to do, so. Yeah, he fought his way back. <laughs> well, it's R2, right? Yeah. I guess it's like a hero who's always working Yeah, well, that's why he's four points, right? So. At least. No one's fallen. No. No ships have fallen yet. Oh? Are you kidding me? Vessary's totally down. No, actually, like, fallen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fallen over. That would be bad. So, of course, Miranda Bomb. She loves to bomb. She's like, don't you get close to me. I like my personal space, she says. She's that, like, person who's always like, no, get away from me. Yeah, pretty much. He hates everyone. Yeah. She just stays by herself and just like, I hate you all. You all are futile to me. <laughs> Die even more than you are even than you need to, even if you were a rebel. Oh. 20 minutes and 15 seconds. Oh, he's decided to target lock instead. Okay. 10. Yep, Tara takes it in, in range there. Yep. Oh, I don't think he's going to be able to harpoon, but he's definitely going to have a TL going on there. <laughs> X Wing, 20 minutes left. 20 minutes. Seconds. Okay, There's Corin thinking hard about his next action. <laughs> Stacking up that focus behind him there. Oh no, that's an evade. He's taking his evade. QD doing that sloop three. Drastic measures to avoid that rock. Get himself turned around. Really, Brendan really, really needs to get some shots in and uh, either kill Corn or Miranda. Two focuses. Oh, I didn't have the dice cam up. There we go. And he gets two. And previously it was hit crit from Miranda. And two hits. Does Miranda regens one? And evades all of it. No problem. I think that's it. There's no shots. Uh, oh, that bomb clears, gentlemen. Hey, hey. Oh, Scott Bombastus just joined me. Hello, hello. It is crazy to see a Corrin horn on the table. I know, I'm so proud right now. In old school. <laughs> and James is killing it today. Yeah. yeah. He's the most veteran X-Men player I know. Yep, yep. Way back since the beginning. He's undefeated so far, which has managed to get him back on the table one, so. Awesome. And uh, I think his first round he lost Miranda. Um, huh? On the last, last round of the game. Yeah. Last turn? Yeah. I, I messed up. I should have. I, I could have gotten out of that. Yeah. And then your second round you kept them both, right? Yeah. So he's, he's uh, doing way better these uh, second and third rounds, maintaining his margin. I'd like to take a shot at I'd like to take a shot at that, but I'm like, I'm getting. I'm getting Land oh, this, yeah. this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> well, you came with a fun list. So. I didn't come with a fun list. Yeah, I wanted to play Biggs, right? It's called the Mustache Open. You got to play you gotta. Biggs. Biggs and, and the Wookie, which is basically yeah. just a giant mustache. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. His mustache grew out so much. <laughs> that's all it, it is. Covered his whole body. Yeah. He's not. He's not actually what got his body it's hair. Just a, that's just, just how big his really, mustache is. Really, next level hipster stash. <laughs> <laughs> 
like a like step a subspecies of humans. Did you see the? This is the next level of the whole list. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The chewy mullet. I'm still looking party for in the front, party in the back, party on the sides. It's all party. Party yeah. all the way down. <laughs> Until the attitude. Then it's all business. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I'm playing the exposed Chewbacca today. So. Whoa. Woo. That is definitely the party Chewbacca. That is the party Chewbacca. <laughs> it's all like he wears clothes, so. No, no. That's all well, it is. Unless that's Brobacca over there, you know. Brobacca. Yeah. I got to get the Brobacca altered art. It's awesome. <laughs> you know what? Today, Chewie has been blinded six times. <laughs> every single game, every blinded pilot's come out. He needs a haircut, man. <laughs> he needs little shades on yeah, the Brobacca. That's true. That's true. Alternate art. I mean, twice it was Kylo Rack. Yep. In the other game, it just happened twice. Yep. By fluke. Oh, I think these guys are dialing in. Okay, so we're good. In Inquisitor yeah. is gonna go first. <laughs> Inquisitor doing that K turn. Oh no, he's not. Sorry, he's running away. And he's going to boost out. I see he's trying to make sure he's getting, uh, if, that if uh, Miranda does shoot at him, she's going to be an obstructed shot. So that he's going to push for a target lock on Miranda and getting that evade token back up. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's all about getting that evade token. He knows he's not going to get a shot. He can't shoot at Corrin. He can't shoot at Miranda. But he sure as hell needs that uh, evade token. With four point bid, man. I remember back when the Phantoms came out, that's what it was all about. It was oh, like, all about bid. It was like seven point bid, eight point bid, ten point bid. Oh, yep. I yep. phone a Phantom because I started pretty late and I got mine kind of late. I've flown it like three times. Every time, just blown off yeah. the ball. Oh, the ball yeah. the first came so on. bad. Yeah. 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 Oh Let's man, Corrin pushing hard after the Inquisitor there. He is obviously unconcerned about uh, Quick Draw. Ooh, Quick Draw getting brave and just flying right over that rock. YOLO! Oh yeah, he's still fresh. He's still fresh. Nothing's an arc though. No, this could be bad news. That's why I got a, the, the one game I won, that's how I got my killing. You roll it, you roll it. You roll it. I just tried to toss it back over. So there you go. He doesn't actually take any damage. That was me throwing it in there. Sorry, guys. All right, so end of activation, start of combat. Miranda, TLT into the Inquisitor. Range three, unobstructed. First volley, here it comes. And hit, hit, focus. He's going to spend that focus for three hits. Yep. And Brendan's got to get the, those evades up. He's got... He's got two right now. Oh, no, he's still fresh on all of them. Okay. He's fresh. Oh, but, but, he, but he saw what happened to Vessery on turn. Yeah, 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 man. Oh, he's thinking really hard about whether or not to spend that token. Oh, he's going to take one. Here we go, second volley. Oh, 
All right, so he's going to regen and gain one more on Miranda. And only two. One hit. One hit. Dad, you know that Miranda's a girl, And Inquisitor goes, that's fine, bro. I got two. Yep. Oh, boy. Corrin's shot. Wow, three oh. hits and a crit from Corrin into the Inquisitor. Inquisitor gets two, so that's a hit and a crit. Oh my god, that is a crit on the hull. Oh, one, two, three, just a crit, just a shield down. So we get to the end phase, double tap from Corrin. So there is two hits and two focuses. He's going to target lock that. And three hits. Inquisitor needs it. He avoids. Oh, and Inquisitor is dead. Oh, man. Whoa, what the heck happened to Miranda? What's the time? You clicked on her name. You got everybody else in there? Everybody. Everybody Eric and Mike. So we have 10 minutes left, gentlemen. 10 minutes. 10, 10. <laughs> nope, 10 minutes. Close enough. Close enough. This is only round three, buddy. 100 to 31? All right, so we only got one match left, and that is these two gentlemen here at table one. Quick draw has got to bring this home. This... This is probably going to go to time, but we'll see. We'll see. It goes with the uh, IG-88. Yep. The kids' look was hilarious. Mm-hmm. Oh, little nudge of that rock, but it won't matter. Nobody's getting over there in the next eight minutes. I've got theirs. Just these guys. Just these guys, that's it. Yep. Just these guys, yeah. Oh. So, sorry that we uh, sure missed the shot and, avo and avoided it. Okay. I am seriously Level. sure that. Alright, I guess us. that's that. On to the next round. So, Good luck, uh, three and Corrin is down to one. One what? One shield. One? Hey, I got him. I got him. One shield. Oh, is that Miranda that's down there? Okay, I'm sorry. And Miranda's at one. There you go. Alex, it's his tournament. Don't try to shoo him away from using his computer to manage his tournament. Okay? I know you want to be. I know you want to be helpful. But there's levels of helpful. Don't overstep your helpfulness, okay? Man. 
man. Brendan has some hard choices coming up here. Miranda doing a hard turn too. Of course, cleared that weapons disabled at the end phase of last turn. And she's going to focus up. Corin just doing a straight one and re doesn't even need to regen, eh? Just need to clear his stress. Oh. One second. Somebody's phone. No. Hold on. I got it, buddy. Don't worry. Just hold on to that. Leave it, Alex. It's not a toy. That's someone else's It's fine. We'll sort it out in a minute. We'll sort it out in a minute. I'm going to have everybody's undivided attention in a minute, so. There we go. Quick draw turning in. Oh, Schnurble. Five and a half minutes or so. Man, I, if. I, I would be ballsy enough to push in on that bomb and hope that it triggers and hurts me so that I can shoot Miranda. But that's just me. It's going to trigger, period. Sabine's on that bomb. That one damage is. He could roll out. He could, could roll out. He's going to roll in. Talking roll about the roll. He rolls in, but he gets to double tap me. <laughs> That's yep. it, yeah. Got to get those attacks. Clayton knows. Clayton knows. Oh, he is too. Ballsy. Ballsy and buff. And with a cry of YOLO. In a cry of glory, he yelled. And nothing on the bomb. A one, one Sabine damage, which triggers the counterattack into Natty's two hits and a crit. Oh, hit, hit, crit. Oh, so hit a crit, and it was which? Shaken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it reacquires. Hit, hit crit on the actual attack now. Miranda takes hit and a crit. And the crit is damaged engine. Damaged engine two hit. Not cockpit. I got it. Damaged engine. There we go. Ooh, Miranda down to. Uh, Two health left. Poor Miranda. Probably gonna get hurt. Miranda's down to two health? No, he's already used it once. Oh, yeah. Woo. That's true. Uh, yeah, I guess I should shoot. Yeah, you should. I would you like should. To shoot. Okay, there we go. I was wondering what was going on here. Yeah, so yeah, we got. Yeah, you're right. You may as well strip them shields now. I was thinking of what I had to do for the next turn already. <laughs> Getting ahead of yourself here, James. Don't throw your championship now. TLT. One. one hit. And uh, one evade. Second one, drop it. Drop one. Two. And he regens one on Miranda. Into the one. May as well get those shields stripped while you can. Two and a half minutes left, gentlemen. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, quick draw is down to one. There you go. Thank you. So disappointed. plans of mice and men. I killed quick draw super fast, and then the rest of the list just tore me apart. Kill quick draw, but not really the rest of it. He's gonna drop that bomb. Which is the right thing to do. Oh, right at the edge. Living brave, living brave. Now he's thinking. Two minutes left. Neither of your crits can be repaired. Oh, that does flip down just afterwards. Yeah. So get rid of shaking pilot. Still just damaged engine. Uh, luckily, you don't have a lot of turns. I 
<laughs> and a K-Wing slammed is very helpful, even if you have damage to end this. Because if you were to do a turn, you could just slam forward, then do a turn. Because mm -hmm. that's not revealing a turn maneuver. No, it's not. Slamming a turn. Uh, it is still considered a turn maneuver, though, and could get him a stress. If you were to do, for example, a two and then a hard turn two with the slam, that would be a red maneuver with that uh, red turn two. Oh, what? So Miranda slammed? Yeah. Yeah. Corin's coming around trying to get trying to get set up for that kill shot in the last couple round here. We are under a minute left. Under a minute left. Forty seconds, in fact. And it looks like Corin might get a shot here and might have an opportunity. Got a range two on Miranda. And uh, that gives him Natty's three hits. Oh, and Miranda is dead. One, two, three, Miranda is down. Right. Yep, still ahead of the game. Four Miranda. Still ahead by a bunch of points. But yeah, yeah, we are at time, gentlemen. This is last turn. Nine. Corn gets hit, hit and a crit. Uh, I don't think I get and yeah, quick draw is going to bust out. Oh, the bomb went off. Didn't hurt anybody, right? Double tap. Double tap for a hit crit. Or, sorry, two hits. Three and just straight three. up hits. Yeah. And, oh, <laughs> not quite. Oh, one more. We get one more turn, right? We get one more turn. Nope. One more turn. Well, gentlemen, that was fantastic. Uh, James brings that one home, 65 to 48. Well flown, gentlemen. All right, guys, we, we're going to cut it here. We'll see you for round four in just a little while.